while growing up, what were some of your worst fears? And did you ever ask yourself the question, why me? Why do I have cerebral palsy? Well, I really didn't want to waste a lot of time in my life saying, why me? I mean, that's a, something I, I go through every day. Is I know that I have a problem that's a little bit different than other people's. But to me, it was just a waste of energy to say, why me? Mm -hmm. Just really focus on what you can do and not really worry about um, what you can't do. Um, because I just didn't have time. I had enough problems as it was. If I had said, why me? I would basically have just thrown my life away because it, took, it takes so much uh, force and energy for me just to focus on what I can do. Mm -hmm. I didn't have time. But being realistic, it does enter into your mind, in, into your life. And I did have periods of time where I was very depressed, uh, um, very concerned about my lifestyle, my, my future. I mean, we all have goals and aspirations in life. And uh, I was very concerned if I would be able to reach any of my goals in the future. You are now at a point in your life where you have established personal independence. For all of those years, you were dependent on other people to help you. Who was your support system? Well, first and foremost, I have to start with my mother. She was uh, very, um, very helpful, very dedicated, and I learned a lot from her um, attributes such as dedication and um, discipline. Mm -hmm. um, I also have had, had an aunt that also was very um, helpful with, you know, uh, any kind of assistance that I need growing up. Um, those two were very important. When I got to college, I had uh, a lot of great friends that helped me and were willing to assist me in any, in any way possible. And they even challenged me to go further than even I thought I could. Mm -hmm. It was amazing because they will see me and they, they will say, you really can do more than you think you can. And I'd be like, how do you know? Mm -hmm. What can you see inside me? I can't see in the mirror. Mm -hmm. So um, when they um, said that, since they were so close to me, I said, okay, I'll try it. Because I've always been the kind of person to try things, regardless of whether uh, what people might say or they might think I um, would just be bullheaded and just go ahead and try it because I had nothing to lose. I'd already been counted out anyway. Mm -hmm. 